Hey guys, Matt here. Um, this is a post-commentary episode because, well, I don't know. The audio didn't come out right, so we're trying to get that fixed. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the reason why there hasn't been a lot of videos because, well, that and the fact that I'm a procrastinating bastard. Been focusing a lot on my DeviantArt account, but whatever. Anyways, um... Yeah, we're still playing Oddworld Zade's Odyssey because I don't know if many people actually watch to the end of Scrabbania where I'm like, THIS IS CANCELLED! <laughs> but no, it's not. Um, I honestly have really not much to talk about, so I'm just going to say, yeah. Um, technical difficulties with this episode. And, like, two and three. I'm hearing crickets, even though I'm doing this in the afternoon. <laughs> well, actually, no, it's 12.13 when I'm recording this, so it's actually noon. <laughs> well, a little afternoon. There's a noon and an afternoon, but I don't think there's a soon afternoon. Anyways. But yeah, technical difficulties, you know, since I got my new computer and uh, that cool diamond device that I got for my birthday doesn't work with Windows 8, even though it said it did. The dumb fucking piece of shit lying diamond. So yeah, I had to go back to my first capture device and fun. But I am saving up to get Roxio Pro HD. Sorry about that cut. Avast decided to try to update itself or whatever during this and it actually cut me out of my own commentary and so I almost lost track. But anyways, yeah. Um, I'm saving- me and my brother are saving- my brother and I actually are actually saving up so that way we can get Ruxio Pro HD, and from what I've seen of it, and all that, it's like the diamond, mul that big diamond device I had, but it actually works with Windows 8. We're getting the HD one, because that one can plug into the other older games, so that way we can use that as well. Because no one really, I, no, nobody knows how tedious this device I'm using right now really is. Basically, you have to plug in the, the regular he I can't talk. You need to hook up the regular installation things, the red, yellow, yeah, yellow and white wires into the plugins of the device. But you need another one so that way you can plug it in to the VCR. Yes, it has to be to the VCR, so that way you can play the game on your screen instead of the computer where there's obvious lag. So that sucks. Also, the device settings on it suck. Okay, I, I did an edit there because it actually froze on this part. So we actually had to restart. So yeah, I'm actually glad of my editing skills because I think that actually looks pretty good. Even though I'm a I'm not that good at editing. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, the settings for these th for this device suck. You can never get it picture perfect. And even when you think you do, you've got buzzing, you've got flickering like you just saw. The di the diamond device I had for good of the start kind of sucks. But I'm not un but I'm not ungrateful for it because it actually got me to keep let's playing because I wasn't actually going to just emulate all of my let's plays. For those of you who don't know, I had a channel called Modern Day Akatsuki Man. I took that down. And well, the majority of the games on it were just recorded off my computer on emulators. Various emulators, because some decided to not work, others did, but they came out as total absolute shite. But yeah, that's the story around that. So yeah, when I got this device, I was really happy. And all that. But, I'm just feeling a little bit angry at the fact that now, when I got this new device for my birthday, which was supposed to make everything better, it doesn't work for my new computer, and... It makes me kind of feel bad because now it feels like it feels like the person who bought it wasted their money, and that's not cool. Oh yeah, and I'm also looking into a new microphone so that way we can get better audio. So there's that. Um, I think me and my brother are my brother and I 
are looking into a blue yeti or something of that equivalent. Because from what we heard, blue yetis are really good microphones. I had a talk with Flocker about this, and he also agreed, so, uh, and since he's a better tech than I am, so, and I believe him, so, yeah. Um, what else is there to talk about besides my diamond bitching? Um, hmm. I really don't have much else to talk about. I have the perfect commentary. <laughs> so yeah, there's the problems. My old diamond is being an asshole. I feel that the audio isn't really that good enough. I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid about all this shit. Ah well. I do want to get rid of the flickering, and this is- and this capture device is the reason why I really don't want to go back to sunshine right now. Because of all the ear rape. Ugh, I still gotta do sunshine. Why did I agree to do that? You just had to talk me into it, Flacker. Yes, that was me exploding because I f did not know about that part, because it's been a while since I played Oddworld, and yes, we're still trying to 100% the game. Oh, and for the record, never again! I'm never doing this again! Fuck 100%ing. If you want to see 100%, go watch a walkthrough, because fuck this. I wasn't... <sighs> oh, jeez. This game, and it's one. What really bothers me about this is that its checkpoint system is absolute shit. I can, I can accept the game for being difficult. Of course, it's Oddworld. It's got to be difficult and fun, and that's what Oddworld is. It's fun. A concept people don't seem to really fucking understand. Also, it's kind of difficult. But that's why you have infinite lives. You know what? Let's talk about a positive note because fuck this. I saw gameplay for New and Tasty. It looks really cool. I actually like it. What also? But what kind of bothers me a little bit? Uh, yeah, in this game, you see people like get blown to bits, shot, beaten, electrocuted, and all that. But in the new game. There's ragdoll physics for corpses. Yes, there's act. You can actually have bodies just limbering around everywhere, and it's kind of messed up. A little bit more than just seeing someone explode into QB bits of meat. Mmm, meat. It, yeah, oddly enough, the ragdoll corpse is a little bit more disturbing than people exploding into cubes of jelly meat. Oddly enough. <laughs> And it works! The man's a genius! It works really damn good! Also, one of my fears that from looked like it got fixed was how Abe sounded. Because everyone knows classic Abe, he's like, oh okay, follow me. And stuff like that. But when I but for some reason, every time I heard Abe in like so, like, one of the trailers when he's talking, it kind of sounds like, It's all kind of like congestion or something. But from what I've seen and heard of him actually sounding like in, um, New and Tasty, he actually didn't sound bad. Now, I know this is probably still in, it's still a little bit in development, so we got that to look forward to. New and Tasty is looking really damn good. And according to the interview they had with, I think it was E3, but, you know, E3 can go suck it because it kind of sucked. But anyway, but from what I understand, they want to do, like, this new and tasty thing for even Abe's Exodus, and they haven't mentioned Munch's Odyssey with that, I do believe, but they did mention it with Abe's Exodus, and that would be fucking cool. I also like the fact that the Wii U is supposed to be getting a version of this game. That's cool. Uh, bye, Elam. <laughs> but yeah. 
Diamond is a bitch. New and tasty looks good, and I can't stop complaining. We'll see you guys in an actual episode where it's live commentary.